this seems like the perfect time to share a few posts, the things that were shared, some video clips of folks showcasing some of what Neo can do with its autonomous driving capabilities. And yeah, we'll talk a little bit about RoboTaxi and why I, I almost think that if we're talking about William Lee, he, he's going to have the mentality of we don't talk about RoboTaxi. And, and that's more of his overview as Mr. EQ. That's what I like to call him, his nickname. One of the things about this guy is he has such a big picture view and an overview that he will not share some things, partly because they're still testing, partly because he doesn't want to give everything away, partly because there is a competitive advantage in them not showing everything that they're doing. And part of it is because it will take more time for some things to be recognized. And this guy is so far ahead in his thinking. And I'm talking about things like the battery swapping capabilities, you know, the, the upgradable swappable battery technology took Neo and William over six years to kind of break down, figure out. I remember when he talked about it in the fall of 2020, I knew that that was important, but I didn't think that just four years later, Neo would have already done over 40 million battery swaps. And so I also didn't realize what an, an advantage Neo would have as an energy player in the future. I didn't realize how alluring or attractive Neo would become and would be to other, not just uh, automakers, but energy players as what they can do with their power swap stations. And so this is really just a very early chapter with Neo power starting to emerge. But because of one of the things that I mentioned in a recent video, Neo's compute power that the power swap stations have, I think it gives them an advantage if they would choose to move in the direction of things like RoboTaxi. But I absolutely don't think that William Lee, Mr. EQ, is going to speak on that, even if he intends to do it. That's just not his way. And that's one of the things I like so much about him is he is more focused on the work and having the bigger picture overview, getting things tested out. Neo tested out, first they tested out the V2G, the vehicle to grid interaction, and it was in a clean park. And it's a video that I've talked about several times. And yet between the videos I've done and Neo's video itself, fewer than 1% of the population have even seen it. And so this is still such an early stage for anyone thinking about the, the level of innovation and disruption that Neo has. But now this is Neo on Pilot Plus. This is the Neo, and this is not the Neo Autonomous driving yet. Now, the fact that they have two different names tells me I think the goal is to get to that Neo Autonomous driving the NAD full capability where it's fully autonomous and where yes, at that point, RoboTaxi is a possibility. But the Intelligent Driving Conference is where William Lee did some speaking. This is now the piece that I, that I kind of want to hone in on. This is page 98, if you pulled up this way, but it's 95, um, depending on how you look at it. And this is the most recent filing, the SEC filing that Neo did. And it cites the regulations in China for autonomous driving. And look, this is this is kind of that 15 year window from 2021 to 2035 where China is looking to go to full EV. And as that shift takes place, I think we're going to see a couple of things. And one of the things that I think we'll see is China will emerge and become the biggest economy in the world at that time. I also think the technology and the smart EV play that they have will be a huge part of that, a big piece of that. And so seeing that Neo has such a good position in this space along with the power play. Uh, it's just really hard for me and to, to get negative on the company. And so the stock price is almost a completely separate topic and discussion point for me. But this is the one thing that I wanted to highlight because this matters. The regulation absolutely matters. And I've talked about this before. It's kind of boring. And, and probably why a lot of people don't pay attention to it. But in the United States, for example, you've got city codes, you've got county uh, rules, regulations, ordinances, you've got state, you've got federal, you've got layers and layers of regulation to get through. It's not so simple as, okay, we're just going to do autonomous driving everywhere. It just doesn't operate that way. And so here's the thing, and this is, I believe this is an advantage for China because they can just say, we basically have one law. This is it. So here's the part that I want to highlight. On March 24th, 2021, the Ministry of Public Security issued the draft proposed amendments of the road traffic safety law. The proposal clarifies, among other things, the requirements related to road testing of and access by 
vehicles equipped with autonomous driving functions, as well as regulating how liability for traffic violations and accidents will be allocated. And they go on to say more. I'm not going to cover it too much. Obviously, you can look it up for yourselves, and I'll link it in the description along with all the video links. But the point is this, and, and a little earlier here, this is kind of, again, it's kind of more layers, but it talks about and, and, and references some of the coverage that must be in place, the insurance and that sort of thing, you know, the liability, it looks like they're they're trying to be way ahead of this. And so this is the fact that they even have regulations for autonomous driving tells me this is the direction they're going. And so with that, yes, it does mean that robotaxi is a possibility, but not until it's tested, proven to be safe enough. And so, I, you know, I don't know if Neo... It's hard to think Neo doesn't have an advantage because of what they could do with the additional computing power from the power swap stations. So I, I just think we've, we've got a long way to go to see this all play out. But Neo is now, and I wouldn't have said earlier that they were a leader in the autonomous vehicle or autonomous driving space. But now I have to say, yeah, they are. They are a leader. I don't know if they're the leader, but they're certainly... I think they have to be considered top five at least. And there may be a point where we say, wow, Neo is the leader. So again, all this has to shake out, all it has to play out. And in the meantime, my prediction is for the Tesla earnings in my last video, which not a lot of people watched, and that's fine. Tesla earnings, April 23rd. Let's see if Elon Musk doesn't spend about the first 10 minutes hyping RoboTaxi, because that's typically what he does. He hypes something at the beginning of the earnings call. So I'll make sure to check it out i'm very curious how that goes but i i mean he's only been hyping it since 2015 so but there again i think that's something that william lee is going to have some awareness of and not want to make the same sort of mistake and so i think he would rather test things out get a competitive strategic advantage uh that they can then leverage if they want to bring in partners kind of like what they've done with the battery swappable vehicles that in tandem with whatever automakers want to help with the infrastructure build out of Neo Power, then they can actually get a piece of that energy business too. Very smart. This is a guy, and I'm talking about William Lee, who does not do things or see things in a way that many do. And he is about as far removed or distant from the short sightedness that we see from Wall Street, in my opinion. I think folks on Wall Street are focused on one year at a time partly because of the way they get their pay and they make more based on the gains they can make intra-year, which means I understand why they're not looking at the longer term, the bigger picture, but that along with naked shorting and other things probably has an impact on why some companies that are IDEs, innovative driven enterprises, and I absolutely believe Neo is one of them. That's why I picked the company to focus on why they have the potential to rocket up with their share price when they prove they are profitable and the short thesis is effectively crushed.